hello. So I decided to show my face here. I wanted to say that, um, disclaimer, I am not a professional sewer, sewist, seamstress, whatever, or a professional knitter. I do this for, for fun. I like it. Um, it fills my heart with joy. And I really love to do it. Uh, I have been absent for about two and a half months. I've been away. <laughs> um, a failed attempt of moving to another city. But I'm gonna talk about that in some other video. And this time I have a cute little bucket tulip hat or tulip bucket hat tutorial. So I actually got the pattern of another YouTuber's channel. Her name is Aji's Studio. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So if you wish to get the pattern, uh, you can find her name in the description box below. And um, she also explains how to take your own measurements, but I will tell you, I will let you in on one secret. So this pattern, as it has like petals on the side, if you want it to be deeper, just extend this part, the middle section, just extend that part. It's going to look great. Um, but this is pretty much, I don't think you need any anything more than this. It covers your eyes, so they're not gonna be directly affected by the sun. And I assume if it's really sunny, you will be wearing sunglasses as well. And I think this is enough not to get you in trouble because I always hit my head because I don't see something that's above because of uh, when I wear um, the, the cap, the baseball cap, it just, I, I don't see, I feel like a horse. Okay, that, that, that's it. Hmm. Enough rambling on. Um, well, that, that was enough chit chat. Um, for now, that's it. Let's get into the tutorial. And once you have your pattern ready, uh, mark it on your fabric of choice. Choose some fabric that has a little bit of body to it, that has a little bit of stiffness. If it doesn't, please use interfacing and use the sturdiest you can get. So uh, try also to save your fabric. You really don't need much for this uh, hat and uh, you can easily get away with using just leftover fabrics that you have from other projects and I think it would look amazing. Um, so once you have all that done, uh, cut it out and you're ready to start sewing. This is my little helper. Nothing can go without him. He is, he's so codependent that I leave the room he comes following me. <laughs> um, yeah, my little buddy. So this is the lining fabric I will be using. Um, this is, here it's called Manta. I think it's uh, some type of wild cotton fabric. It's very nice, uh, though it smells like corn. Uh, so once you have all these six pieces, you're going to uh, sew them together three by three. So put together three of them. I did not do the top stitching. I did not want that, even though it could look um, neater. Maybe next time I will, but for now, this was very good. So once you have them together, you're going to put them, uh, you're going to sew them in one go. So this is the reason why we did three by three. This is leftover fabric from another project you will see very soon. And this used to be a skirt. <laughs> I will probably insert a picture somewhere around. And this is how little fabric you need. It's just crazy. So out of this tiny little piece, I'm gonna get three pieces that I need, three petals for this tulip hat, and it's just gonna be perfect. I actually had enough to make a little bow for my cat. And of course, you're going to mark it, cut it, and sew it together. And once again, here I have three petals put together and then I'm going to add the second half of it and I'm going to sew it in one go all around. And once that's done, it's going to look something like this. 
Now I'm going to put the nice sides together and I'm going to sew all along this edge with and I'm going to leave a little uh, hole. One petal is not going to be closed off completely so that I can turn it inside out. This is where I will leave it open <laughs> approximately. And once I sew it all together, I'm going to turn it inside out and then I'm going to top stitch everything so that I give it a nice and clean edge. Unfortunately, I did not record this, but you will be able to see it now. As you can see, I did like two or three millimeter um, seam allowance. I just top stitched it, nothing too fancy. Bottom thread was the same color as the fabric. Top thread was black so that it's not that visible. And I just went in circle and that's pretty much it. So this is the final result. It is so cute. <laughs> I'm in love with it. And if you liked it, please comment, like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.